Are quarks the most basic fun, uh, building blocks of nature? Do quarks contain other particles? Now, there are some very interesting aspects of quarks being made up of other particles. Quarks are incredibly small. They're smaller than about uh, 10 to the minus 17 centimeters. To give you an example of that, if I take a carbon atom and expand it to the size of the Earth, how big would a quark be in comparison? Well, it would be smaller than a, than a, than a half a centimeter. And so it gives you an idea of how tiny quarks are. And of course, that's the upper limit in the size. They could be much, much smaller. And the LHC will be able to actually increase the effect of magnification of observing quarks and be able to see whether the quark is smaller than 10 to the minus 18 centimeters. In other words, they can, they can demonstrate whether quarks are smaller than 10 times, uh, are 10 times smaller than the upper limit that we now have. Now, if quarks were made up of some other material, other particles, there would be another very interesting feature. And that there would be some new forces in nature, which would be at least a hundred million times stronger than the so-called strong force. Now, to give you an idea of how strong the strong force is, if I hold two quarks side by side, they're attracted by the equivalent of about 15 tons of weight. Now, imagine a force a hundred million times stronger than that. And that's just the, that's just the um, lower limit in the size. The, the force could be a good deal greater if the quarks are, uh, are actually smaller than 10 to the minus 17 centimeters. So there are some extremely fascinating issues associated with whether quarks are fundamental or not. And also uh, the idea that we have this family of enormously varying masses is another perplexing question, which I would hope that the LHC might give us some evidence toward understanding